Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode here on Bali Spring. So today we have uh, got a lot to do because we are in September. Uh, so we do have something uh, new on lease in the shed. As you can see we've got a lovely cedar set up with uh, a nice new Holland, don't know, T690. And yeah, because we've got a lot of seeding to do so I thought be a nice uh, upgrade for this year and if we like it we might buy it in the future um, I believe it's about a 200 horsepower tractor so that is good it's a plenty of horsepower and a lovely cedar as well which is six meters so we're gonna get things done very quickly so let's get started on our first field so what I'll do is I'll head down to the field and I'll see you when we're there all right so we're down here at the first field um, we are going to put in some, I think we'll do some, well, yeah, we'll do oats in this field. So, let's get the cedar put down, and let's get it turned on. There you go, seems to be working well. I would just like to say, I'm going to get a new microphone eventually, so my audio should sound a little bit better, because this one... Um, a headset microphone, they're not the best, so I'm definitely going to get a new one. Just trying to decide on which one. Uh, there's a few I've seen on Amazon that I like the look of, so I might get them. And I'd just like to say, if my schedule of videos is not the best at the minute, I do apologise. It's just uh, time, I don't have much of that right now, so I do apologise. But anyways, to save you getting bored, what I'll do is I'll put this on a nice old time lapse and I'll see you when it's done. I've just finished the seeding and I've decided that I'm going to do a bit of mowing again because it needs to be done in this field. We haven't done this field in a wee while and hopefully we'll get a decent yield out of it. Uh, so we've got our lovely New Holland T690 hooked up to our lovely fella mowers. So let's get right into it. So let's jump into our tractor. Start it up. There we go. Uh... We'll adjust the sheet, uh, the seat a bit. There we go. Put the uh, the wheel. Nope, wrong one. Which one is it? Oh, yeah, it's this. There we go. Wheel down and start the front more up, and we'll start the rear more up. Jeez, that's quite loud in my headphones. But anyway. Hopefully we'll get a decent yield out of this. Let's have a look at our map. That's alright. Could be better. There we go. So what I think I'll do is I won't put this on a time lapse I'll just do this little cinematic clips and I'll see you when we're done
so I've just finished the field and what I've done is I've sent the worker off and they are doing field six right now so what we'll do while they're doing that is we'll go and start windrowing this field so we'll use our lovely New Holland TM 155 and our lovely windrower that we got recently and we'll get the field windrowed so let's shut this gate just give us a bit more space if that is if it wants to shut there we go and let's unfold this and let's get going with the windrowing I don't even know if we've got space in our silage pit for this so I might have to give our cows some food to get rid of the silage which I you think oh why would you want that because you would want to save the silage for the money but our cows really do need food at the minute so for me that's the main thing since cows they can make a lot of money if we were to really uh, invest in them and feed them well and all that but we're not very good at that at the minute so we'll need to start doing that at some point at least feed our cows twice a day or however many times they require a day and yeah yeah it'd probably be once a day actually because twice a day would be a bit too much uh, food and they wouldn't eat that much food either I don't think but another thing we've got to do actually is we need to start spreading our slurry on the lands because we've got 150,000 litres of slurry uh, so Apparently worker I is done, but it won't be, so I'll need to go over to the field before I get into the time lapse and sort them out because we really do want them going, uh, keep on going because it could get us ahead of the game by doing that. So yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll head over to that field and I'll get the worker all sorted and then what I'll do is I'll get this time lapse on the roll. finished the wind drawing so I decided to instead of just going straight to uh, pick it up we will do a bit of slurry spreading first because that needs to be done and also breaks the video up a bit so you're not just seeing uh, you know that kind of grass work instead we'll do this kind of grass work so let's get this slurry tanker on, uh, all sorted there we go and let's get it turned on there we go so our map should be looking a bit better yep we also need to do that field to the left and right so yeah it's going to take us some time and we're going to use quite a bit of slurry hopefully which is what we're needing because we've got our slurry store is very full but yeah, as you can see that's lovely well slurry is not a very pretty color but it's looking good anyway on the field so to see if you get bored of watching me just do this and barely talk what I'll do is I'll get some cinematic clips and I'll see you when it's done
so I'm just turning back into the farm and we are going to go into a T69A over to one of our arable fields with the cedar and we are going to go and seed some more uh, arable land because it needs to be done so we are going to go and do field 35 because I can't really do any of the other two fields because currently they've got uh, tons of straw bales sitting in them so yeah so let's get this disconnected and we'll get this hooked up to the cedar There we go. And the cedar is just in the sheds here. But yeah, hopefully everyone's enjoying this uh, video and if you like to check out my sh social media is below this uh, video. We need to shut this door actually so we don't break it. Nope. Uh, this one. Uh, which one is it? There's what? One for the seat. Yeah, there we go. Want that to be, and then that to be down. Anyway, right. And um, we want. Yeah, let's do some canola. We haven't done that in a wee while. So what I'll do is I'll head down to the field and I'll see you when we're there. All right. So there we go. We're here at the field. So let's get started. There we go. Working nicely. I was also thinking we might reseed some of our grass fields to see if we can get a better yield. Uh, we're just going to have to watch our seed rate because we don't have uh, too much seed and we've got two more fields to seed. So we'll have to wait and see how that goes. And I would like to seed our third field today because um, we need to get that done before the crops grow and it's out of season to do it. And yeah, because we've got fertilizing to do as well. Uh, so we really want to be doing that when the crop's not um, at its first growth stage. So we probably want to use the slurry for that, which I'm not sure if you would see in real life, but we're just going to have to, because we don't have a lot of money right now for, uh, uh, what do you call it, chemicals and all that. So we're going to have to leave it for now, because I'll quickly look at it, but, I, well, same stuff. It's the exact same stuff, £1,820 a bag, so we're going to be spending a lot of money on that, but once we get a bit more money in the bank, what we'll do is we'll just get a big order of it, and then it should keep us going for a while, same with the seed and lime, because I do need to put some lime on this field to get a decent yield, because it really does help that lime, even though it's very cheap to buy compared to fertilizer. It does a really good job at giving us a good yield. Right. We're going to try get every square inch of the field we can. Yeah, that's the first headland. So what we'll do is we'll get this on a time lapse uh, to see if you get on board to watch me do this. And I'll see you when it's done.
finished the seeding and you may notice we have a lot of money. Well, let's just say um, somehow if I accidentally sold all the silage bales in those shed, I, I did mean to sell the straw bales over there and I accidentally sold the hay bales as well. So now we've got uh, quite a bit of money. So we're a step closer to buying our dream farm, which is up in this corner here, the yellow farm. Um, but I'm trying to decide if we take a loan and get that or save our money and buy something better, like more land in our area, because we could do that at some point. Um, we'll have to wait and see. So comment down below what you think we should do. Should we buy this farm if we take a loan and it means we can get better soil type and uh, maybe make a bit more money by having a second farm? Or should we buy more land in this area or another option is do we go and buy a combine um, because it's something we're going to need to buy for the future so it could be an option but anyways we finished the field of this seeding as ugh, the seeding of this field as I said so I think what we'll do is we'll take this uh, tractor back and well we'd have a bit of money now so we can afford to buy some fertilizer so let's do that well, we have some money because we need to buy the essentials. Uh, so we're going to buy quite a lot, a lot. We'll buy 16 bags of that. Right, and that should do us. So £29,120, which is alright. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll take this back to the farm and I'll go and get the fertiliser filled up and we'll come back to this field and we'll fertilise it. The same with the field just there, we'll fertilize that as well. So, I'll see you in a minute. Alright, so we got our fertilizer spreader filled up now, so let's get it turned on. There we go. And let's see how that's looking now. Yeah, much better. I was just having to think actually about what we're going to do with some of our money and we're not going to buy the new farm because I feel it's a bit early on for that and we're going to have to take a massive mortgage out for that uh, so we won't do that um, so it's really between buying maybe a better telehandler because our one it's alright and it's quite a new one but I'm finding because it's articulating it's making it hard for me to use so we might change that out. But ours is worth a decent amount anyway. So we could just trade it in and pay a little bit of money to get a new one. The other thing I was thinking is we could buy a few other fields around us. Uh, and just really have more land. Because we've got plenty of land. It's more just of the options of fields. Because when one field's not ready, we almost need to have another field to be able to work in. So I've been looking at three fields right now that are combined together. Um, I think it was these ones here. Yeah, 209,000 pounds. Now that would take all of our money, but I could uh, almost uh, make a lot of money out of those fields for silage. So that is an option. And there's many other fields as well uh, over the whole map that we could buy. The other side, I was looking at is this farm. I quite like this farm as well. It's quite a distance to be driving. That's the only thing. Um, there's so many options really. But I'm quite happy for now with what we've got. I'm just having a look. Seeing how much land is. We did use to own uh, this area. Well, this bit here. No point buying that back. Ooh, no, that's not a bad price. And we're getting 1.39. What's our yield like? Hmm, no. Uh, I think we're going to take this field. So that's that one bought. 117,000, so, see our money's really gone down quick now, if we were to pay that off, well, we'll pay another 20,000 on that, 
And you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to check where the JCB is and we're going to replace it. And we're going to get something a bit more uh, suited to us. The one I found is a bit older because it's a Merlot, so it's quite nice. Um, but it's a bit older than the JCB and uh, it's probably more fitting for our farm anyway. So what I'll do is I'll go and get the JCB sold off and I'll sell the attachments uh, like the JCB branded stuff because uh, there's no point having them and I probably could sell this actually because I'm not going to use it let's just do it right now there we go so what I'll do is I'll go and find the JCB and I'll take it down to the store and I'll sell it and we'll buy the Merlot so I'll see you when we're back at the farm with our new telehandler Right, so we've got the telehandler bought now, so uh, that's us all good uh, for today. I think we might leave it there just because we've done quite a bit. It doesn't feel like it, but we've done quite a bit. So yeah, we'll leave it there. So if you enjoyed this episode, please do like and subscribe and also comment down below what you think of this episode and what you think I can do to improve my videos. And if you'd like to join any of my social medias, it's linked below this video. And if you'd like to share this video with anyone else, I would appreciate that as well. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.